Welcome back to so we're making my famous cauliflower wings and vegan mac and cheese. Look at how delicious this is. It is so yummy, yum yum. So I need some cauliflower flour, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, ground mustard. Make sure to check your vegan cheese to make sure it's vegan. Check the ingredients when using the tea. You'll also need some flour. So first things first is you're going to cook your pasta until it's al dente. Check to make sure you do not want your pasta to be too soggy, but you don't want it to be hard. Once it's done, you're going to take it over to your sink and you're going to drain it. And then I'm just going to run it with, run it over, <laughs> run some cold water over it. Once it's done, you know, cool enough, just going to put it back in the pot, add some water or milk, and then you're just going to add your cheese depending on how cheesy you want it and then you're just going to put this back on the stove and melt the cheese down and this is as easy as it goes. You can also melt the cheese and then add the pasta. I've done that as well and once you're done it should look something like this and this is so delicious. Next we're going to make our cauliflower wings. So you're going to take some oil, add that to a baking sheet and then I'm going to take my frozen cauliflower and just toss it all up in there like you gotta get these baby coated and add a little bit more you know coat them things <laughs> then <laughs> that's what it should look like and then we're just gonna take this and put it in the oven I'm gonna cook it on 475 degrees and I overcooked my meal a little burnt but it's alright you know we can still work with that so I'm going to take my flour and put it in the mason jar. I'm going to add my Italian seasoning, my garlic powder, and I'm going to add some ground mustard, some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. Then instead of using egg replacer, I'm actually just going to use water. So you're going to take your cauliflower and put it inside of a little bit of water, literally, and toss it in the water. And then put it inside your jar or your plastic bag or whatever you have your flour in and you're literally just going to shake it up you're going to shake it shake it like a salt shaker <laughs> and then once it is done it will look something like this you see that? you don't even need egg replacer all you need is some water and this is the easiest way to make cauliflower rings um, I've found versus using the egg replacer it's actually a lot cheaper and I mean it's super simple and easy so I did this to all of my wings and as you can see I'm just gonna keep you know taking them all out because I have a little few more to put inside of the flour and that's what they look like so I'm gonna do this again just toss them and toss them toss them and turn them in the water it's just a water bath and just placing them inside of um, the flour and I do this because it kind of adds that moisture you need so the flour can stick to the cauliflower that is the time twister um, and yeah so same thing again I'm just going to add the rest of these cauliflower wings to this little plate thing or top it's a container top okay so yeah we're just going to Shake, shake, shake. Look at that. Like, that's amazing to think that that was done by um, You know, I'm going to feel around to make sure I get them all out and we're all done. So I'm going to add these wings to my deep fryer. Like so. If you don't have a deep fryer, you can pan fry. And, yeah. We're just going to fry these bad boys up. And once they are done frying, we're going to make our barbecue soda. So it's literally just half barbecue, half water. That's the ratio. And you want it to be coated. So you're just going to toss your cauliflower wings once they're done instead of this barbecue sauce. You don't need a lot. I think you use about two three tablespoons. Um, and about the same amount of water. And it's just perfect. It, like, it, it coats the wings perfectly and then it gets a little caramelized. And we have our wings. And we have our mac and cheese. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.